New Orleans, the home of jazz, Mardi Gras, and most importantly, some of the best food in the world. Dayton, Ohio, the birthplace of flight, and that's about it. We only have a handful of good restaurants around here. Now, why am I comparing New Orleans to Dayton, Ohio? Well, I grew up in Dayton. It's where I've spent my entire life. I've never had truly, truly good Cajun or Creole food. In fact, I grew up eating the Uncle Ben's box jambalaya. I wanted to make some good stuff. I wanted to make it better. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make some jambalaya. So we're gonna start off with our spice blend, and this is just Emeril Lagasse's essence, quote unquote, spice blend recipe. So we're gonna start with paprika, salt, garlic powder, cayenne, dried oregano, dried thyme, black pepper, and there's also some onion powder in there, but I didn't have any onion powder and the grocery store was closed when I made this. So anyway, whisk all that together and that's your spice blend. And also I'll leave a link to that spice blend in the description. For our knife work, we're gonna start off with the Holy Trinity, which is essentially the Cajun and Creole mirepoix. Start off by dicing one stalk of celery, half of an onion, and a green pepper. We'll also slice up three pods of okra and two or more, really as much as you want, cloves of garlic. Once all that's nice and chopped up, we're just gonna throw that into a bowl and set it to the side. Next, we're gonna take roughly about a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and we're just gonna slice those up and add to that bowl a pound of large shrimp. Now you're probably noticing that I'm using a bag of frozen shrimp. Use fresh. The counter was closed when I went grocery shopping, so I couldn't get fresh shrimp. Use fresh if you can. And now once you have those in the bowl together, take half of your spice blend, pour it in, and mix it up. And now while you're mixing it up, think about how you wish you had gloves because this is really fucking gross. Now go wash all the salmonella off your hands and then chop up half a cup to a cup of green onions. You know, I say half a cup to a cup, use whatever your heart desires, man. It's not gonna make that huge of a difference. We'll do about a half of a cup of chopped parsley. Then you'll dice up one and a half pounds of andouille sausage and chop up one tomato. If you notice, I've got all this sitting on the cutting board just kind of separated. Uh, that's because I'm trying to minimize dishes. I don't have a dishwasher. I have a very small kitchen sink. I don't want to do that many dishes. It's a pain in my ass. All right, so now we're ready to cook everything. So get a large pot or a Dutch oven going over medium high heat with a little bit of oil. And once that's shimmering and nice and hot, go ahead and dump all your chicken and shrimp in there. All right, now stop. You might think I'm overcrowding the pan, and I, I am. Again, I said I didn't want to do that many dishes and doing this all together minimizes one less bowl that I have to wash. So if you want to do these separately, that's totally cool. I'm overcrowding my pan. It didn't make a difference. It still tasted great. Anyway, cook until the chicken is browned and mostly done and then remove everything with a slotted spoon or like a fryer spider like I'm using right here. Now add in your sausage and cook for another minute until it gets nice and brown. Now all the veggies that I had you put in the bowl, the holy trinity, the okra and the garlic, throw that in there with a couple of bay leaves Cook it for a few minutes and then add your diced tomatoes. So now you're just gonna take two quarts of chicken stock and pour it in there. You're gonna mix it all up and cover it and simmer for 20 minutes. And once 20 minutes has passed, you're just gonna come back and you're gonna add two cups of washed rice into everything. Throw your chicken and shrimp back in. Cover it again for 15 more minutes. Now you come back, throw your parsley and scallops in. Cover it again, 10 more minutes this time. Once 10 minutes has passed, kill that heat and let it stand for a few. And then you eat it. Now, I don't know if this was like really, truly authentic jambalaya. It's something I made. I worked off a couple different recipes and kind of put my own thing together. It was good. It was really fucking good. I'm definitely going to make this again. What do you think? Are you from New Orleans? Have you been to New Orleans? Have you had true, authentic jambalaya? What do you think of this? Did I do all right? Let me know down there. And if you've made it this far, do me a favor. Give me that little thumbs up. Maybe hit that little subscribe button if you haven't already. Oh, and shout out to the handful of people right here that are still supporting me on Patreon. I know I haven't been posting much lately, and I'm working on it. I got a lot going on right now, and it's channel's kind of had to take a back seat, but I'm really focusing on trying to get back into a regular swing soon. Anyway, that about does it. Love you all, and I'll see you soon.